We just watched episode 10, I believe, of Spider. And we had some ideas about what's going on. So we want to do a quick video with minimal editing so that I don't have to edit all of this. <sighs> and just talk about what we think is going to happen. And if you guys could be helpful and not just giggle in the background and start saying something, that would be great. I'm going to mute yeah, myself yeah, yeah. through most of it. Mm, yeah, because yeah. Serbia is going to giggle uh, I... and, and go away with everything. <laughs> Zero is trying to decipher my giggles. And I don't know what, how I feel about that. <laughs> well, to be honest, I, I think... apologize. I'm greatly, greatly distracted. Because I want to, I want to switch the stick. <laughs> What? Well, okay, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I think I have enough information based on certain spoilers, I w could say, for, mm. that I would call Serbi's giggles and a PNG <laughs> image from her computer. <laughs> from those, I'm able to draw a certain conclusion and I want to present to them <laughs> to you today. Uh, I'm also a manga reader, but from what Serbia has told me, I barely know. A, I only know like a bit more than anime onlys. So fuck. Uh, yeah, I probably might say a few manga spoilers for you two, uh, Chris and Kiwi, who are ma anime only. But I won't give mm -hmm. much context to them. Only the context that needs to be said. So yeah, uh, spoilers. You have been warned. Uh, anime. If you haven't watched until episode uh, ten, which well, is what episode ten, right? and certain manga spoilers. And yeah, manga spoilers. Yeah, yeah. And so but... basically, basically, like end of volume three ish is what it seems like. Maybe a little into volume four of the light novel. So, anyways, I think I want to start off with you two first because the manga spoilers that I'm going to give you might give you more context than you already have right now. So let's see what anime only think of like the future episodes, what's going to happen, and uh is Julius dead or not? Uh I I think um, we know what Kiwi thinks of that. I Yeah, I stand by what I said. Julius isn't dead. There's no way they built they build him up way too much for him to just die off screen. There's no way he's with dead. My, I would say with my research that I have conducted, which is watching the anime and uh, seeing that the hero title exists only once, either Julius died in uh, no, have we, yeah we talked about it. either Julius died in another timeline or uh, Julius actually died and his uh, brother Shun right uh, got the hero title, meaning. Julius has to be dead. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still it, against it, that. I it, mean, it, like, Kumoko, yeah. Kumoko got her, like, skill about, like, knowledge. It, I don't, I forgot how the skill is called, but it's, like, this skill that she, what's it called? It's not knowledge, it's something else. Mm. No, not appraisal, the other Tobu. one. But she has to admit it. Kinky? No, the the one that administrator D uh, gave to her, like that she wished wisdom. for, and she got yeah wisdom. wisdom. She got the wisdom skill after she just wished for it. So maybe, just maybe, Julius didn't want his skill anymore. No, that's kind of dumb. But still, that, I don't, that, I don't no, want to that's believe this. That, no, I don't, I don't want to believe that Julius is dead. I just don't want to believe that. Thing is, mm. uh. Uh, if, if we, even if he didn't die in the current time, timeline and he died in a, another future timeline, he still has to die in set timeline sooner or later, right? Uh, so well, I would say that Julius will Chris, be killed Chris, either by Kumiko humans, or the yeah. Humans are in the future. Kumoko is in the past. Yeah, I know. It's not a different timeline, really. It happened well, by the humans. And I don't believe, maybe, like, maybe, just maybe Kumoko was confronted by Julius. Maybe. I did talk about it, like, in the last reaction about my thoughts about it. And yeah, maybe she was con she did confront Julius, but I don't think that Kumoko would just kill Julius. <laughs> I don't think that. I mean, I don't see why not. She does. It's not one of her ex-classmates. Julius is just a random NPC in a video game that she plays. 
if you look that at it that true. way. Yeah. That's but... also uh, what no. I wanted to raise to contradict what you said, Kiwi, that they built up Julius a lot. I think that Julius himself is sort of an expendable character, not gonna lie, because he was not reincarnated. Uh, the one that was reincarnated I'm and is Kumako's classmate is Shun. And I think that would yeah. make for a more interesting conflict if Kumako was actually the I one that did agree. kill Julius and then Shun found out that it's Kumako and Kumako is his old classmate. And that would make for a much more interesting story. I do agree that like Julius is an expendable character. No matter how much I love him, he is one. I cannot like say that isn't true because he's in one of the classmates. He's in like a reincarnated character. He's in like one of the old classmates for Kumoko or anything like that. But I still don't want to believe that the, that the author just killed him off like that because <laughs> first like shoot shoot shoot. Listen, uh, I I know I know I'm gonna sound like an asshole right now, but just because you find the character really lovable doesn't mean they can be killed off. Still go for a lot of other anime. That, that wasn't what you you, you 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 just <laughs> you just talked over me. You didn't let me finish. You didn't let me finish. How dare you? I'm just saying, like, even though if he's an disposable character, he was way to build up to be just disposed off of the camera and just for Shun to take revenge for him. Because if you think of it like that, why was the Shun one who got the hero title then? Why wasn't one of his older brothers, who were much more capable of getting the hero title than Shun, he was still going to school? So I just don't see a point in it being like that. It's fate. And just I don't to know. add to that, anyone can get the hero title. It doesn't have to be from that family or even that kingdom. Yeah. So the fact that it was from the so, same family is actually a pretty big coincidence. So I, I just well, don't see a point know, in it. Uh, impo- like a random Kumiko could have gotten the hero title if she was lucky enough. Well, not really, because she has a demon <laughs> no, title. No, but, yeah. she has the taboo skill. <laughs> uh, I don't Fair think enough, monsters yeah. but, can well, get the hero yeah. title. Oh yeah, right. She she's considered a monster, right? Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, as Kiwi pointed out, that you know, why did it have to be Shun? Uh, I think that also ties into what I said that if Shun comes into conflict with Kumako, that makes for an interesting story, which is why the author made Shun the next hero instead of just some random person that we don't know of. Hmm. And we also found yeah, out. I should in not episode... say anything against that, though. I mean... I'm just going to be faithful to the idea that Julius isn't there, that something else happened in the process of the title giving. Yeah, yeah. I, I just mean, don't you... think that he that he would just be killed off. I I could be completely wrong. Yeah, here, so that my love. But I'm just trying to use the logic that I know of anime and what I think is good storytelling, uh, to come up with these ideas. So I could be wrong. But we'll see. But we, but all of us might be completely wrong, and it might not have anything to do with Kumako. It could be just the well. Here's me theorizing again. But uh, if Kumako isn't the Demon Lord Lady, uh, then it could have just been the Demon Lord that killed Julius. Mm-hmm. Possibly. Uh, mm-hmm. That's also one of the manga spoilers I, I that I that... have to talk about with you guys. But yeah, we'll get to that. I was about to say that I don't really think that it's uh, the demon lord that killed Julius. Because, uh, well, they were talking about going to the cave just to meet the demon lord. It was like in the first three episodes when Julius was going to the cave. And they were talking about demon lord. Um, I just don't think that the party, I think that the old man that was in the episode 10, like the latest episode, the fat Kumoko. Yeah, I think that he was also there with them. I'm not sure. I don't remember completely. But it wasn't it saying like, oh yeah, the Demon Lord is super strong, we shouldn't really face them off or something like that. So I don't think that he would just go blindly in it and then ki- get killed in the process. And it was outside of the whole thing. So I also don't think that the Demon Lord is the one that killed him. Mm-hmm. You never know. Uh, o- only thing I can say about that is that 
Kumako being the one doing it is still more interesting than the Demon Lord being the one doing it. Yeah, that, that yeah but they, still, they again, can still like... The artist can still make it seem like, oh yeah, the Kumako is the one that killed him when he was the Demon Lord, and then they just p appoint like, his brother to Kumoko so that he seeks revenge for killing his brother and the demon lord is just smiling on on her chair just living her life because Kumoko I think that Kumoko is starting to be considered a danger for the demon lords and stuff because I mean she did meet administrator D or the guy that was her messenger so mm, yeah I, I actually you know, know the answer wants I think... to get rid of Kumoko yeah 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 I actually know the answer to this uh, so I guess I'll probably have to bring up some things from the manga right now. Um, okay, so first piece of information that I know for a fact is that the Demon Lord and Kumako are not the same person. And mm. I know that. I guess that. as much. And, you know, like, I forgot about this in the manga, but I had to go and reread it. But yeah, uh, the anime tries really, really hard to make us think that uh, the Demon Lord is Kumoko, especially with like the Demon Lord having the uh, skills that use like threads Think and eyes. stuff like that, and like how they pointed out that Kumoko has like a Demon Lord level one skill. Uh, well, yeah, that's title. what I pointed she, out when you might... said, "Oh, wait, the... yeah, yeah." I was gonna say that's isn't... what I pointed out when you were. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Isn't the Demon Lord title the same as the hero title? Like, there's, there can only be one. Yeah, that mm. was said in the anime. And also, I was the one who pointed out in while we were watching the episode that Kumoko doesn't have the title, she just has the skill. So, yeah. I mm. knew from the beginning that Kumoko couldn't be the Demon Lord. Uh, I, for, honestly, if, if it's just a skill, then different story. Yeah, if it's just a skill and not a title, then yeah. But I honestly don't remember that. I have to go rewatch that episode. Mm. But in the manga, I know that they are different people because uh, the Demon Lord tries to come and kill Kumoko at one point. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it. Maybe that, like, maybe like she was, maybe she tried, like in, like you said in the manga, to try and kill her personally. And mm -hmm. she probably failed because protagonist plot armor. And then she decided just to like, oh, I'm just going to kill Julius or something like that. And then point the new hero on Kumoko so that she gets killed, not by me, but by the hero. Like, I think it would still be good storytelling if Shun and, and Kumoko being ex-classmates fought. I think it would be pretty fucking sick. Mm, yeah, I think... Probably happened but... anyway. <laughs> But for that to happen, I think that Kumoko would have to be on the other side of the spectrum of that war. So basically, what I'm thinking is that Kumoko somehow ends up joining the Demon Lord. And I think this, because of that one PNG image that I saw on Serpy's computer for like a second. All right. And it was a PNG image of a spider girl. Serpy's, Serpy's laughing. Serpy's and laughing. I know, I know for a fact. <laughs> That we can if, see your avatar, Serby. If the author <laughs> does not make her a spider girl, they are missing a golden opportunity, okay? And I know that Serby loves this series so much, and when I keep mentioning the spider girl thing, Serby always keeps giggling, and the way that she giggles tells me that it's actually true. So, Oh, I don't believe it. I'm still like into that. There's no way she's turning into a spider girl. No she way. Is. She definitely is. No, she's not. You guys are thirsty. You guys are thirsty. Yeah, That's exactly. why want. <laughs> That's why they would make her a spider girl. Male exactly. fan base kiwi. Main fa main, yeah. It's it's an isekai. Okay. <laughs> These things it are bound to happen. Matter. It doesn't matter. I don't see. I don't see a point in her being a spider girl unless she like joins their school or something. I don't know. Like, she's like, oh, I'm going to go to school and be a spy for the Demon Lord. And then she turns into a spider girl to attend school and just spy on Chun no, while she might goes not be, to she might not be like She might not be full-on spider girl, but she can be, like, half spider, half female. Uh, what I think is that we know that I... there is a time gap of 15 years between the Kumiko that we are following as a oh, present yeah, that's right. and the human war that is currently going on. 
So oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. I, I was just being that... sarcastic. I'm sorry. I just don't see a point <laughs> in her being a human. I just don't see a point in you being in her being like a spider girl because okay. if it, even if like even the 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 fact that there is like the 15 year time gap also just tells me oh there's no point in it because she cannot really do anything as a hum- as a spider girl. Uh, I don't see I a disagree. point in it. I I think that there is a very valid point in it if that evolution path actually gives her more skills because I believe uh, monsters are have better stats but humans have better skills so what if Kumiko became both and also yeah that that might not be like the main reason but if I was reincarnated and I knew that I was a human before uh, into a, like a spider or a monster or whatever I would and like I to had the chance. Again. To become like yeah semi human or like full on human again, thanks to the evolution path, I think I would choose that path. Uh, do you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that she won't have the, that path or that choice to make. I just don't believe it will happen because there's no point in it. There's really no point in it. I was thinking like okay, okay if she became so, a spider okay, girl, no, no, if she ca- if she became if she became a spider girl, okay, if there wasn't a f- fucking 15 year time gap, maybe she could attend their school and be on the demon lord's side and then be their spy and actually meet all of her old classmates and then like that that's how the story would progress. But there's no point in it otherwise. There's really no point in it. I don't see a point in her being a spider girl other than fucking fan service. You're a little close to there. Uh, not... Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kiwi, have you. Have you. Uh, you watched uh, Slime, right? Yeah. And Slime gets the, uh, the Slime Girl form. Well, just the, the human uh, form. Was there a point to it? There was a point to it. No, there wasn't. There was no point. <laughs> You cannot compare slime to spider. Yes, you can. It's, they're both literally the same type of isekai. isekai. They get transformed into a No, they're not. They're world. not. They're not. They're not. In slime, you build a village. In spider, you try to survive. They're totally different. But it's the same... Oh my fucking god, Kiwi. <laughs> it's the same concept. That's what I mean. It's the same it's concept. It's not the same concept. It's not the same concept. He's a slime that's born of bee. She has to build her way. There, are, it is kind of a subgenre of isekai. Yeah, they are the same. Yeah, as then said, the they are the same subgenre the same of isekai. Genre. Because yeah, that's they do share like a lot of similarities. That, but it's but, what I said. <laughs> but they are different series, oh, which didn't. is why they have different stories. So, yes, they are different, but they share many characteristics, which is what Chris is trying to say. Uh, so we can yeah. derive a storytelling uh, plot points from slime that could potentially happen in spider I think is a safe call but we could be wrong and just like outright denying that there is no possibility that Kumako would ever want to like become a human girl again if she had the choice to and that there's no point to it is also sort of not valid we should well, I don't think have the context that, that like Survey has as a novel. It, yeah, but still, I don't have the context that you have as a, as a manga reader or Survey as a novel reader. I just as an anime only. I just that think that you, like like you in the ending, like the entire point of the ending song is that she is upset that she was reincarnated as yeah. a spider and she not wants as a beautiful to girl. Go back to a girl. <laughs> and also another <laughs> plot point that in the OP. One of the very first shots in the OP is of a white-haired girl that looks a lot, yeah, a lot like the PNG image that I saw in Servi's computer, and she's covered in spider silk threads. So, I'm looking at the OP now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a quick snippet so you can put, <laughs> it, put it in the video. Wait, seriously? I'm just also going to do that. What? I thought that that was a totally okay. different but character yeah. because Serbi was talking about something like that, like Lola. Her name was something Lola. I forgot. No, no, no. The tone of voice that Serbi was using when she was explaining that was obviously trying to throw us off the truth. 
<laughs> so I don't even know what conversation we're guy. talking about now. <laughs> no, no, no. Like I think it's like in the first few episodes that we watched, and then you explained that no, that's a different character. And then you told us her name or something. Oh, I think but, I might have mentioned the demon lord. Yeah, name. yeah, yeah. But the way yeah. that you said that is, it's like you were Found trying it. to mislead us. <laughs> I'm gonna mute myself. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, I've... yeah, 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 yeah. I just saw, I just saw what you meant, but uh, yeah. Yes, and we have I not seen like, that really character I cannot like really go yet. against that. And do you see that she's covered in uh, spider silk? Yeah, but at the same time. What? You're gonna try to contradict yourself again? No, I'm. I'm having a hard time believing it. <laughs> And it's not contradicting myself, it's me changing my mind, please. Stop yeah, making no, no, you no, seem no, like no, I'm no. such a bad person. And... <laughs> yeah, I, well, I never... Never mind. But yeah, uh, also, like, as soon as that part passes, it goes to pink eyes to a girl with... I, would, I was gonna say the color of hair, yeah, but... Yeah, that's would... Demon Lord. Yeah. That's Demon Lord. That's the Demon Lord lady with the purple oh, eyes that's, that's in, like, looking at the... Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah. maybe, but still... You said that uh, she was trying to kill her in the manga, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Why to continue would she on then be, like, in the same... Yeah? Why would she be, like, in the same... In the same team as the Demon Lord if she tried to kill her before? Okay, so... Uh, there is a few more details after that that just happened in like the most recent chapters of the manga but i don't i'm not going to elaborate on those uh mm. there's also because a, even then she's not where... friends with the demon lord but yeah there's also a smaller part where the demon lord like spreads her wings and every single one of the wings has a small evolution of uh, of spider every time she evolves hmm okay so it starts from the first evolution Goes to second, third, third again, and hold up. Let me let me let me rewind really quickly. So it's <laughs> first, second, second, third, third, and we can't see the fourth. Mm -mm. The the newest right. one, I think. Okay. This would so... be this should be a really okay. Okay, so I'm start, I'm like thinking maybe it's true what you're saying because mm -hmm. the demon lord also has like webs and stuff. Could, could it be that the demon lord has also evolved from a monster to a human? Possibly. Doesn't have to be Possibly. a spider. Maybe she evolved into a, from, from a like monster a because monster. she's. How about this? Yeah, how about if the demon webs. lord? How about if the demon lord is the? Remember the from the start of the anime, when yeah. the when Kumiko first got reincarnated, there was this giant ass spider queen. What no, no, spider no, no, queen? no, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Listen, 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 let me finish. What if that spider queen, queen spider, evolved into the demon lord? Hmm. I think, I think no, because if we're assuming that that's super fetched. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. it is. I, I think, I think that we can assume that that is not the case because, uh, well, I already know the answer. But as anime only, you can assume that because. Kumako went off a different evolution path than what her mother and her siblings uh, chose. And I'm guessing that the end of Kumako's evolution path is her turning back into like a fully fledged human girl, well, half human girl. <laughs> I... uh, which means that. Also, I, I just found. Uh, uh, them going that down that move is just like ends up as a big spider. He was, was just spoiled. On huh? spider while scrolling through the YouTube, like I was looking for another version of the opening, maybe like to find the subtitles. Maybe there's subtitles. And was scrolling down, and I saw a spoiler. <sighs> Such an idiot! <laughs> God damn it, Kiwi. <laughs> well, at least don't talk about it and don't tell us what it is. Just keep it to yourself and don't comment it on manga decks or something. Uh, uh, Kiwi, for your, uh, for your advice, or not advice, for your, um, interesting, uh, so if you don't believe Julius is dead, how do you explain this picture that I have sent in the recording room? Give me just a second. Yep. 
it's it's basically Shun sobbing over uh, the the fucking scarf he that Julius had. Oh yeah, that's yeah. The shot they from did the OP. say okay. Listen here, they did say that they found the scarf. They did say that, and they brought it to Shun. That's that's like the thing, but the body wasn't found. There was just a scarf. You can just okay. drop a scarf. Like, did, didn't you drop one or two scarves while you were going home from school once in your life? Of course, there would be a scarf. Oh my god, Kiwi, you're like, trying so hard. Uh, yeah, you're really trying. Okay, but actually, the scarf is a very interesting point. Uh, I believe that they mentioned that that scarf was made from spider silk that they got from burning down, uh, from burning like a, a spider's web. And remember that the house, the spider silk that they burned was Kumiko's house. Now, what do you think Kumiko would do if she ran into Julius, who was wearing a scarf made from her silk that they burned down? Hmm. It sounds hmm. like they ripped it out of her butt and made a scarf out of it. But and if somebody burned your right house there. down and you ran into them again, would you not be a little mad? I would, but I wouldn't be so mad to kill someone. Kiwi, well, it's Kumiko unlike all of the soldiers. The world. <laughs> all of the soldiers were outside of the cave. That's also why I don't believe that Julius is dead, because they were outside of the cave. They weren't in the cave. I don't see a point then. She's abandoning her house. So what's the point in her killing someone because they burned her house in the past? She, they were also, outside of Kumoko's of... cave. So, like, at the end of, end of the opening, these two pictures appear uh, one after each other. If uh, you guys want to comment on that. At the end of the opening, there is a uh, vampire girl, which... I know of from the manga. I'm pretty sure you it's the. You uh, in like one of the. Uh, yeah, yeah. We we did see her, uh, in the backstory of before they got reincarnated. She was that really creepy girl that uh ran into Shun and took like a soda can or something, and just walked away without saying anything. It's just awkward. Kiwi, your avatar died. No, he hmm? didn't. I'm just having a hand in my head on the side because my back hurts. Oh, uh, I thought you were having mm -hmm. a headache. <laughs> like me. Yeah, as no. well, because people don't want to accept the idea that Julius is not fucking dead. I think you're the one that doesn't want to accept that he has died, and he has died for the plot no. of the anime. No, I don't believe that he's dead. There's yeah, we we know we heard we you. Know, the yeah. Watch, watch when the twist. Times. Watch, watch when the twist happens, and I'll be like, "Aha! Uh -huh, I told you, bitches." Okay. Oh well, yeah, I mean, we it's could all be wrong. For the timeline and, the egg. And, and Julius could have got the same like reincarnated. The and <laughs> what if, what if the, Julius the, dies the, and gets reincarnated as as a human in in their own world? What if people who die get no, reincarnated in the real human world? No, because... No, Kiwi, because in the Kiwi, first it's episode... Kiwi, it's a joke. Kiwi, it's a joke. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Stop. <laughs> I was joking. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? We gotta fix the aspect ratio. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, My so now is. to continue. Uh, why I think Kumiko ends up joining the Demon Lord side. Uh, I can't raise any examples right now, but have you ever heard of the anime trope where, like, you fight each other, oh. but then, like, you find out that you just can't defeat you the other person? Other? So you're like, let's just be friends. Kind of like uh, Goku and Piccolo. Yeah, I've never watched oh, yeah, Dragon Ball did, C, but like... I heard that happens a lot. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Or not you know what I remember just now? Mm hmm You know what I remember just now? Remember the guy, like, from the last episode that entered the cave in Fat, in fat Kumoko? Lost his arm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he apparently... Yeah, and he said that he's the strongest 
He's the strongest Magician. magician on the human side. Yeah. That's what he said, right? Mm. And Kumoko yeah. is stronger than him. Could yep. it be that Kumoko is already one of the strongest in the whole world? No, 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 no. He said he's the strongest and human that's... magician, not on the human side. He's the strongest human magician. Kumoko. That's what I just said. To be honest, Kumoko. Yeah, but being a human, the Kumoko yeah. that I know is extremely OP. So when they did actually fight in the mm. manga, the Demon Lord didn't succeed in killing her the first time. Which is why I can assume yeah, that's that what I'm thinking, like, she probably won't be able to kill that, Kumiko anytime soon. Yeah, that's what So That's why I'm thinking like, oh maybe she the Demon Lord lost to Kumoko and to instead of like you know how they say your enemy is your friend. So maybe she just brought Kumoko to her side so that she doesn't lose any more or lose face. I think what you're trying to say is uh the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Not my enemy is my yeah, friend. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, like, this is just conjecture because uh, I'm just trying to raise, like, common anime tropes that could potentially happen between two immovable forces. Yeah. Unstoppable force means an immovable... Fuck. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> hmm. And I think that for now, that's probably going to be the theory that I'm going with. I, I don't, I'm not sure if it makes much sense, but uh, I'm thinking that in order for her and uh, Shun and their classmates to come into conflict, she's definitely going to have to be on the opposite side of that. And it would be interesting to have a protagonist uh, who is already a monster uh, have questionable decisions. Like, she's I mean, like, yeah, the, righteous. The dragon girl already has the yeah. dragon girl already has the taboo skill. So I'm also thinking, like, oh, maybe the dragon girl will end up on Kumako's side. So she finds out Kumako's real identity, and because she feels bad, she's going to go to the Kumako side. I mean, it could be, because she used to bully Kumako, I believe. Uh, Faye, yeah, and she it? feels really bad about it. Yeah, Faye. Mm, and yeah. she has a taboo skill. And Kumako maxed out her taboo skill, so that means she's like a good teacher? Mm -hmm. So to say? I don't know. <laughs> and then, like, the... What do you guys think Taboo will do? <laughs> taboo? Um, I don't know. The more fucked up shit you did, the higher it gets. Like, eating your uh, your race, eating, killing people, doing bad shit. Things like that. Mm. Well, I believe... But Taboo uh, skill didn't always grow when she did bad shit. I believe we kind of well, established of already that... Mm. The taboo skill is basically like it means having knowledge that you're not supposed to have, and since Kumiko knows a I lot, I think of it's just doing things, something like, that's not considered normal by by all means, right? If if you do something that's not normal by the community, well, society, it it, it slowly yeah. gets higher and higher. The human side already like explained kind of what the taboo skill is, like the Jesus loving girl that was talking to Shun. Yeah, Jesus loving she already girl. said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go on. She already like said that the taboo skill is a bad. Is bad. Like Kumako's taboo skill growed as she was doing like normal stuff while trying to survive. So yeah, well, maybe yeah, like taboo like, skill killing. Like I want to say she she did unlock the the dark side uh, ability, which probably made her yeah, the dark uh, side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so like she unlocked she unlocked like abilities that probably shouldn't be unlocked if you are trying to be a good person, meaning it made her taboo skill probably rise. Maybe, or maybe like she has the Kumoko demon has a lord bad person, skin, though. skill. Or yeah, but maybe... I don't see her as a bad person, though. Maybe because I don't really see the demon demon lords and that shit kind of shit as oh, bad either. 
but I don't see her as a bad person though, like as a bad like character. No, I don't know how to say it. I don't see her as a villain type. She doesn't have to be a villain type. She doesn't have to be, be a against... villain to have taboo. Yeah. yeah. So okay. Yeah, uh, but the Jesus loving girl said that taboo is bad, and tab and the bad is usually put on villains. That's what I mean. Not that Tomoko is bad Look, or something like that. Those crazy <laughs> religious types. Yeah, those those crazy <laughs> religious types. They they can say whatever they want. If if they're you're not on their <laughs> side, then you're automatically bad. All right. Um. Uh, Kumiko, uh, if you're talking about whether Kumiko is good or bad, let's think about what happened in episode 10, where Kumiko literally killed off a bunch of soldiers using her evil eye yeah, ability, but, and then she yeah, ripped off the other guy's arm, but but she was just evil for defending it. herself. But, okay? Yeah, she was just protecting her home. Yes, but and that's yeah, also but why humans, I don't think that she killed Julius. The humans think that she's evil. Because if I were a human in that situation and all my friends just randomly dropped dead, what would I think? Yeah. CPR. Right. I think I think Kiwi's having a stroke because she doesn't know how to go against our points. Hmm. <laughs> I did I mean, bring up some good points, though, and I don't want to yes. believe it, certain things, but yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. not getting mad because you're disagreeing with my theories, no. no I no, did change just, my mind about some of the theories. We're just trying so, to rationalize it with the evidence that we currently have right now. Mm. How long mm -hmm. have we uh, have we been going for, Zero? Uh, 37 minutes. At least until... <laughs> we can come to a conclusion as to what we think is probably the most believable theory. <laughs> I mean, the Jesus I think, loving I think... girl is secretly a demon lord. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, There's I, lots I think, of evidence. I, think, I know, I think that's the theory. <laughs> but yeah, um, so even though Kiwi won't agree with it, there's a lot of points that point to Julius at least at this current point, being dead. No, Kumiko. there's no point. There's no fucking body. There's no body. Yeah, but there <laughs> isn't. A, a, there isn't evidence saying that he is alive. It's all pointing to him being dead. Okay, look, just right? because okay, you want him okay, to be so alive. Okay, so I'm going to say something. Okay, listen, I'm going to say something. Fucking kill me. Okay, kill me. You're already <laughs> dead. You're a ghost. So there's a there's a fifteen there's a fifteen years time gap between them, right? And Julius, in the current human timeline, they're like behind, and Komoko is in the future. No, no. they're in. No. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I, I, I uh, <laughs> <laughs> mixed up Kiwi's, the timelines. <laughs> Kiwi's brain is going into overdrive, trying to find a way to make Julius live. Oh, okay. No, I don't he think. isn't dead. I don't believe that he's dead. Look, Kiwi, right now, Julius is literally like Schrodinger's cat, all right? He's half dead and half alive. There is. We only know if he's dead or alive once no he's observed. There's no fucking way. There's okay. no fucking way. We're there's not, no body. We're not, not talking. That someone might. That there's no body. What if Kumoko just ate him? <laughs> Possibly. Kumoko eating Fuck humans. Thing. She didn't eat other bodies. She didn't eat other bodies. What's your point in there? You never saw she didn't them. eat other humans. Oh, well, we I, did see her leaving. I, 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 no, she ate yes. everything that has flesh. No, she didn't. She doesn't eat humans, clearly. As I was didn't saying, eat the bodies. Uh, she just left. Okay, Kiwi. You shut the fuck we up. About, Kiwi, we talked we, about we, this. Can, we, we aren't allowed to fight. We aren't allowed to fight. Yeah. We aren't allowed uh, to fight. Now, let me, let me, let me talk. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> with the most evidence that is pointing to Julius possibly being dead, and Kumiko being uh, Kumiko evol evolving into a uh, Spider Girl, with Shun getting the what hero title, right? And yeah, uh, yeah. we thought so. Just to confirm, Spider doesn't have the the Demon Lord title. She has a Demon Lord skin skill. Is that correct, Serbia? Yeah. 
Yeah. You guys are really testing my knowledge here. I would have to actually look and double check, but I believe so. I don't, I'm not sure. Okay. I gotcha. But she has uh, the skill, not the title. Yeah. It can she, only be she, one in the whole world. Yeah. If she has so the in title, terms of, then in that terms wouldn't of, make sense. In terms of that, uh, taboo skill is max, so we're probably expecting something uh, intense soon. Uh, she is evolving again, right? Right before the episode ended, she evolved. I believe so, if I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, so she, she, she got told no, a bunch she of put shit. It on pause. She put it she, on pause. She didn't evolve. She didn't evolve. I, she put it on pause. I, she put it at the side. I think, she, I think she just fainted right before the episode ended. Oh, maybe. Could be. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think she did, yeah. No, yeah. she... But yeah, she... It, no, it was the after, there was the after cut scene, so I don't think that they yeah, put that in, such in an that important scene, thing. Painted. I don't think that they put something so important on the like after Possibly. after like ending scenes because people just skip over it. I can check though. Mm, yeah, that's probably the best way to figure out the truth. <laughs> I'm a spider. Mm. But one thing that the teacher did bring up, uh, the elf teacher, she said that Kumiko was confirmed dead, pretty much. But we do know that Kumiko sh is still alive, and is probably still alive, during the human timeline. So, maybe it's sort of like, she's like, considered dead because of, she has the taboo skill, or like, She's not working with them. I right, don't, right, right, right. So know. what happens at the yeah, end? But of the that episode, doesn't make she, sense. She maxes out taboo, and she says she maxed out taboo. She faints, and the last thing you see is now installing information, and that's it. It's just oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And if what you're saying, okay, uh, zero kind of doesn't make sense. She has level one skill, demon lord, but mm -hmm. she does not have a title of demon lord. Okay, also, so it is no, skill. she does evolve. Uh, so she goes, uh, she says the name of the evolution, which I will not try to pronounce, and she says commence <laughs> evolution. Yeah, yeah. Um, as I was about to say, <laughs> <laughs> it, it doesn't make sense that she's considered dead just because she has the taboo skill, because uh, Faye also has the taboo skill and she's still considered alive. So, I don't know. But nobody knows that Faye well, has the taboo seal. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, yeah but cause nobody knows... also knows that Kumako has the taboo skill. Nobody knows that they don't even know if she's alive. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, but... basically taboo skill is uh, achieved higher levels by doing evil or uh, dark deeds, I guess. Mm. What maybe... she, the only thing that she did e that's evil is eat her brother or sister. Other well, stuff is just well, her trying to survive. Yeah, but she unlocked a ability that the demon lord or someone on the demon lord's side would have. That's that's what I, I'm going off of, right? And again, Look. good and evil, like those are yeah. subjective, largely. Yeah, it's who's defining <laughs> what's good and what's evil? But I want to Could. say, she, like, oh God, what's what's the like her ability name is literally Evil Eye. It's taboo is and every forbidden. time every time she's gotten the Evil Eye, taboo's gone up. Yeah. I mean, if we're talking about forbidden skills or doing forbidden mm -hmm. acts, I would think that like, taboo also went up with her last two evolutions. So their species is connected to it also. I would think that like talking on a smartphone with an administrator of an Isekai world is also considered forbidden. <laughs> but that could just be me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I was like that administrator is a voice actor. I like that voice actress. Mm. She's great. She voiced Miho in Bakuman. I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, uh... Kumiko ends up on in the war on the Demon Lord side, somehow. Which we're assuming that is because they fought, and then they're like, yeah, we can't beat each other, so now we're friends. Which is kind of flimsy, but I'm gonna go with that. And 
They come into conflict with Shun and his party. Uh, I believe like I just got the dumbest idea. Uh, you know <laughs> what is it? So you you three know like Chris doesn't know because he didn't read Tower of God, but you know how in Tower of God, um, Bam was threatened. Now that's kind of spoilery, but just block it out. Just block it out. Zero. They don't need to <laughs> hear you. it. You can just okay. You can just agree or disagree. <laughs> right. All right. Um, <laughs> you know how in you know how in Tower of God, uh, Fook threatened Bam that they will kill his friends if he uh-huh. doesn't comply by them. Yeah. And like something like that does seem like something that the, the demon lord would do. Imagine if Kumoko got out of the cave and found out that all of her classmates are still alive. And, like, she decides, oh, I want to meet them and stuff. And then the demon lord finds her. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to kill your classmates if you don't comply by me. Because it feels you're something you're like a demon a lot, lord You're assuming a lot that the demon lord knows Yeah, I'm not saying... Well, it, it, that, it feels like something that a demon lord would know, you know? I mean, fair enough, but the, I don't think the demon lord has anything to do with the reincarnation. Also, uh, quick quick fact for you guys. It's um, this uh, this isekai, so Spider, was made by the... I, I, I think. It's it's part of the fucking... The, the, the isekais that made uh, ReZero, uh, Kurosuba, and, and, and shit like that. So it... Someone says that it could it could probably make an appearance in the Isekai Quartet as well. Yeah, it's Kurokawa. That's, that's what they're saying. That's who published. Yeah. <laughs> but I wanted mm-hmm. to I wanted to hear the thoughts about it, but like, yeah, maybe it's just okay. a dumb theory. And uh, Chris well, changed the topic, so let's just forget it. No, no, no. Uh, I th- I think my thoughts on that are that I think it's highly unlikely that Kumoko even cares about her classmates. Because remember, her life back then was she was a loner. Yeah, well, she yeah, didn't get no along with anyone, and she was bullied. Nobody tried to help her or anything. Mm. So oh, yeah, I, I forgot about that. She wouldn't care about them. I think there's also the teacher. But still, would who you really elf. care about? Yeah. Still, would you really care about your like what your classmates did to you in the past in the situation of being reincarnated into another world and completely alone at that? Uh, I wouldn't exactly care about what happened in the past, but I wouldn't care about them in general. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, we all got reincarnated and we're trying to survive here, all right? If it's something that Kumoko also seems like the character, like, if it's troublesome, then, like, i probably just avoid it. You know? <laughs> now I feel dumb. Uh, the other spoiler that I do know is that from rolling in Mudai that there are certain other elf characters that we have not yet seen in the anime. So I'm going to assume that those elf characters are going to join up with the human side or something. Don't know their names, don't know what they do, but I know that there are other elves. And I'm assuming that they join the human side because of the teacher is also an elf and that she's on the human side. So yeah, they might come into play sometime. And then that time I got reincarnated as a slime civilization. So I'm a spider. So what? Dark Souls. That's. I believe you already very accurate, this. actually. Yes. Yes. Hmm. So, yeah. And then finally, the entire series is gonna end with like a Evangelion plus fairy tale. So there's gonna be like giant mechs and then giant laser beams shooting across the sky, and then everybody ends up dying in the end. So yeah, good times. Anything else that we're missing out on? Not really, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all the information that we have right now. Yeah, I, I think we should we should stop before we're trying to milk this topic anymore and it becomes awkward. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's actually all that we have yeah. for today. That's all with, we uh, have, guys. The but yeah, it's just a theory, guys. An anime <laughs> theory. A anime game theory. theory. <laughs> What are you talking no. about? It's not a game, Sorry. it's an anime. <laughs> Sorry, help us out. Uh, Spider is a game of life. <laughs> oh, well, it's an anime game theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
<laughs> bye bye, degenerates. Bye bye. Take care. <laughs> Later, dude.